Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again. And what I've got for you today is the Rococo Smart Suit Pro version 2. I've had it for over a year now and I had time to gather a lot of experiences. I brought it with me on you know, projects, for clients projects, also for animation gems. And if you're watching this video, that probably means you are in the process of buying one of these yourself or you have a lot of questions about the product that I hopefully can answer. We're not going, only going to review the Smart Suit Pro itself, but also this Smart Gloves. That might be its own video, but they are nevertheless going to be included in this video because uh, I think that there are differences between those two and there's definitely an argument to make to only get these if you have a very specific use case for them. I'm going to talk about the good things, the bad things, and at the end, my conclusion. This is not supposed to take too long. However, there are some things that I want to get off my chest. First things first though, we are going to go, we're going to switch into the suit to give you guys a little showcase. I'm already wearing very comfy and loose stuff. That is going to be very necessary with this one. And I'm gonna give you my impressions later on. I'm almost done putting on the suit. There's one thing I want to say, I buy my stuff in medium, right? Like my t-shirts, my pants, if something comes up, I'm, I'm, I'm a medium guy. This suit is a medium, way too tight. It's way too tight. Maybe go a size up, um, six foot, I guess, or 182 in, in centimeters. I'm a bit on, this, on, this, on a sporty side, medium, too tight. There is a lot of straps and I mean a lot of straps down here. Maybe get it a size bigger and then strap yourself tight. That's definitely the way to go. I had to loosen some of those tights, those straps all in all in order to fit at all. So medium is way too tight. I know that's my fault. I should have bought it maybe in, in large. So any criticism that goes towards, okay, maybe it's too tight, which it is. My movement is very restricted in this one. It's on my own, not going to influence the rest of the critique. We are geared up. It is powered by a power bank that you have to get yourself. But honestly, I got that from any convenience store. They are doing a job just fine. Stick it in there. Uh, the process with Rococo Studio uh, is pretty much straightforward. Connect that to your Wi-Fi and you are good to go. You should right now see like this screen where a broken mannequin is already dangling around. Dangling around, those cables for the smart gloves can be annoying. You can tuck them away if you, if you want to. You can use that suit without the gloves. Then you have here your sensor. Uh, no problem at all, tuck it away, you're good to go. But we said that we we're going to use the gloves as well. So the setup, um, the calibration setup, let's just do the calibration setup for a quick minute. Smart gloves, by the way, feel extremely premium. The fabric is, is amazing for the price, it's too grand. However, I already have one flaw with those. Getting them off is a pain in the ass. And, and I, I do mean it. They are tight and snug as they, as they should be. However, the fabric is very flimsy, especially around your middle console here, which is the intuitive way to get off your your gloves, right? You wanna pull it off maybe a little bit, get it here, maybe pull on your fingers. Don't do it. Do not do it. Because you can easily pull the glove from those transmitters on there and that is definitely not what you wanna do. So I have to, I have to say they feel good. They feel premium and everything. They don't feel too durable. Again, again I've had it over a year, it's fine so far. But for the price that they're asking, two grand, I think they could be a little bit more rigid and, and, and rough and heavy duty. We are good to go with the gloves as well. Let's do the calibration on the computer real quick. My PC is over there, so it makes it a little bit harder for me to understand what's going on with the lights and everything. So you see what's going on. I have to talk a little bit louder. There's going to be more echo, but that's fine. As you can see though, it's uh, objectively quite quite okay, all of, all of this. So the tracking is working as, ex the tracking is working as ex expected. One caveat, this didn't used to be great all, all, all the time. 
There's a calibration mode where you can set the length of your manners and then your arm length and all of this. Take your time with this one. There is no need of rushing this. This will take a little bit of time. Sometimes the measurements that you put in don't make sense for the computer. Then you have to manually fidget around until you get the desired result that you want to have. However, it is necessary to get that down, right? Especially uh, for stuff like that, where you want the hands to meet on the, on, the, on the hips and the chest, you see it's still not quite, quite where I want it to be. You need to basically nail that. However, and this is one major pro about this whole suit, especially the gloves is, Five finger support. Why, why Niels, why do you think this is this is important? I've worked with other suits as well, right? Accents, Perception, Neuron as well. I even did Optitracks and all of this. Five finger support is not a given. Perception, Neuron, you only have th uh, three finger thumb index and then these are calculated as one thing or costs the same. Accents, the gloves are like 12,000 euros depending on where you get them. Then they do this, they are way bigger, more precise though. However, it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Five finger support for this price, 2K for those gloves and for the suit, an additional 2K is a steep price. But if you're especially looking for this one, for the finger support, uh, that's great. That is a crazy, crazy cool price. We're coming to a negative and one of the negatives um, I've mainly, I'm mainly using this suit for live performances. So I'm in theater, right? I do, I do live stuff. I don't really do pre-recorded stuff all of the time, but I do live stuff. And I have to say, and that's why I went for, uh, with this one over the accents because it's the same story with all of the others, with Perception Neuron, with Xsense as well, and Rococo. The post-processing is where the price difference is. Xsense costs 12 grand and then additional two grand a year for the software because of the post-processing. Live, it's all of the same. Uh, all of those suits work the same way. Let me just walk in a circle and then you see how walking in a circle actually looks like. You see, that's not a natural movement on my knees. My knees are popping. My legs are doing sometimes something very weird. That's how it is. That's what you can realistically expect from it. So this is great for like big movements, right? And, and, and starting points and acting in a motion capture suit is uh, its own its own practice on its, in, it's on its own. But for simple stuff like walk cycles, I still go over pre-made animations from Acurig, ActorCore, or Mixima. I don't like Mixima, but uh, the, the other ones. I still take these over animated stuff with us suit anytime. There is, however, a way to fix it. Let me record a take, and then we're going to put it into post-processing. By the way, Niels from Future here, editor, please make sure that you include this. I just realized that one of my sensors was flipped and that looks weird on the recording. So from now on, you're gonna see one index finger being flipped over. That's not what it's supposed to look like. I just realized it right now looking at the screen. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Quality could be a little bit better for 1,000, 2,000 uh, bucks. It's already giving up on me. Maybe, but let's jump back. Okay guys, here we are using our post-processing software. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can watch it back, what, what happened. And then on the, on the ground, on here, you see where the system detects ground contact. So it estimates when your foot is on the ground and then you can do stuff according to what the system thinks, it thinks is right. I can say, okay, my foot was on the ground, then it's recalculating and actually saying, okay, hey, it is on the ground and it's going to fix the position and it's going to fix the other things accordingly. There are other things you can change, uh, toe bend, 
but this is actually something that you can adjust on the fly and it is getting better all of it is getting better i just recorded the message where i said okay my finger is flipped i don't know how that happens <laughs> um but i definitely did not stand like this i did not twist my legs like that but the rest is pretty high quality and then you can reprocess this clip and export it to all of these settings you can even and that's cool you can even uh, in this software in itself retarget it to other mediums like to other to other skeletons to other meshes to other 3d models which is actually amazing this was a quick demo of what this thing can do. Now you have a realistic expectation on what this thing is capable of. I haven't had too many problems with magnetic interference and all of this. They did bring out a Coil Pro 2, or oh, Coil Pro, which is apparently supposed to fix a lot of these issues. My conclusion for all of this, this is an amazing piece of hardware, uh, especially on the, on the gloves. The materials could be a little bit more high quality and secure for a rigid, rigid use. Hardware, in terms of hardware, this is amazing. It's well worth its price. The software is letting it down, right? Uh, that the work cycle looks poorly like it does and even post-processing and uh, the weight calculations of, of your character is not quite right. That's a software issue and that has been this way for years, right? So um, it's a great product let down by its software and they f keep fixing it with bringing out new hardware as the Coil, Coil Pro. Should you buy this suit? It's a steep price, 4K, 4.5K, but if you, if you really, really need it and you know that other options are not available, get it. However, Rococo does offer this camera-based tracking, which is amazing as well. Right? Other services offer this camera-based tracking, which is highly sophisticated, and if you're just doing just doing some some youtube shorts or not driving a main character with these animations it's free right it's hard that price is hard to beat so if you can justify spending four grand that's like a dope ass pc on this go for it but i hope this realistic expectation of what this suit can do and produce helped you in your purchase decision i'm happy that i got it that I bought it a, a number too tight is my own fault, right? And I think a replacement suit would be like 400 bucks. It's not that, that big of an issue. Usually I'm not rolling around on the ground anyways, but I'm happy I got it. I'm happy with the decision. By the way, I already forgot to tell you, business inquiries in the description below. Here are my links to all of my socials and my Patreon if you want to support me. Glad you do. Thank you very, very much. I see all of you and like and subscribe, leave a comment about what you want to know about this suit maybe or other products and then I'll see you guys in the next video.